So I'm happy to be here as an NYIT graduate. Uh, my name is Ali. I, I'm an experiential graphic designer and lead creative technologist at uh, IA Interior Architects. So the IA Interior Architects is an architectural design firm uh, focusing on commercial interiors. So today I'm going to show you guys a couple of creative technology projects uh, in the workplace. So why are we using creative technology? Uh, because the nature of workplace is changing rapidly and we need to make these spaces more engaging and appealing to the new generation of uh, workforce. So one way to do this, basically uh, use technology to do biophilic design. I'm sure some of you guys know what biophilic design is. It's basically uh, mimicking the nature and to, uh, to promote, uh, to pro basically promote emotions in the space. And by using technology and natural elements, uh, of biophilic design, we can create dynamic and living spaces to, pr to promote productivity and happiness. So the first project is flip dot wall. Uh, flip dots are electromagnetic display technology. It's like analog in nature and you can see the rotating circles, the changing states. So it's also similar to digital technology because the circles have obviously two sides and uh, hence the, the states and like zero and one. So the concept of the interior design was uh, analog versus digital. So we thought that the, the flip dot technology was a perfect fit for this concept. And we created a very interactive installation with sensors, which reflects the, the motion of the people. And it generates dynamic imagery like the, like the surfaces in, in real life, like water and, and such. So and one great addition to this uh, experience was the noise. Basically, all these 44,000 uh, flipping dots create noise, and it's very similar to the waterfall in nature, basically. So the next one is Infinite Reflection Wall. So this project was inspired by the 10 print book. The book is about creative coding and line of, one line of code which generates random maze-like patterns. So at the beginning, we thought that it would be a cool idea to do really use the same pattern and create an interactive installation. But it turned out to be that it's going to be like more static, but interestingly dynamic installation. So uh, we basically use this 10 print pattern as a perforation on a steel surface, which has a reflective backing. So when you put this surface in front of a mirror, it creates like infinite reflections when you peek through the holes. And peeking through the holes is uh, like seeing infinite reflections is a good biophilic connection, which is similar to wonder and surprise in emotion uh, in nature. So, of course, one of the uh, things turned into a selfie wall for me and for some other people. Uh, the other one is the prismatic bridge installation. So we had this great opportunity to connect two projects with a bridge installation. And we were thinking to create seamless experience uh, for the people walking between two buildings. And we did so many studies, studies after studies. And we also did some uh, like uh, interactive simulations by using web technology. I love WebGL. And we present uh, the, uh, the project with WebGL to the client. And so the idea is basically uh, to bring outside forces into the space. And like uh, uh, with the installation consists of uh, 16 individual rotating prisms representing the state of light. Each prism has three different sides, obviously, and one side is representing the light. The other side is representing the reflection of light and absence of light. So by, by the real time data feeding into the installation, it, it generates constantly changing timeless experience. So scanimation wall. So this is basically inspired by Scanimation child books. It's an optical illusion by using slight frames of animated layers under a moving pattern. And we were wondering if this effect can be done in 3D space. And we did some studies in 3D softwares and found out that it was feasible. So I actually generate, uh, uh, some, uh, developed a software to calculate the perspective distortions and slice the animation frames to generate a static image behind the obscuring pattern. So this is similar in nature. The parallax effect is dynamic, and the optical illusion changes based on your proximity, like in nature. And results was a low-key solution to generate very dynamic and personalized experience with a 40-foot wall. That was it. Thank you so much.